What's up, my friends? Good morning, and welcome to Monday, another edition of Art Talk. I apologize, I did not uh, mention Art Talk was starting, and then here we are, because because that's what's happening today. Uh, the world is in chaos, and and we're not we're not Jerry. Uh, Jerry and I have it handled, don't we, Jerry? We can you and I just just doing our thing as we go. Uh, this is Art Talk, as you know. Uh, thanks for watching. Ivan, what's up? Welcome into today's, or this week's Art Talk. Lots of cool stuff uh, to share with you guys uh, coming up. Some neat stuff. Oh, I'm a little bit irritated because I uh, I was just watching, uh, re-watching the vlog this morning with Kathy upstairs, and then I, I came down... Uh, I came down to uh, to do this with you guys, and I left my coffee upstairs. I don't have my coffee with me, so what are you going to do? You know, life throws you lemons, and you make coffee with it. <laughs> what's up? Uh, who else we got? Ivan is here. Good to see Lou. What's up? Lou, the man with the with the plan, with the cool car, um, a workout fiend. Uh, Steve Gifford, good morning. Welcome to today's Art Talk. I'm moving in a little bit, adjusting so we can get shit done properly. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, uh, I'm Fireball, and this is Art Talk. Welcome. Uh, if this is your first time watching, I'm kind of, you know, you guys have, have been watching this for quite some time, but if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, we do this every weekday morning on Facebook Live. Uh, every, uh, no, we don't. Every weekday morning. I'm so used to saying that. It's every Monday mornings, uh, just Mondays. We just, just do it on the Mondays. Uh, way too much stuff that's going on. We tried to do it every week, but it was uh, just a bit nutty. So we do it on Mondays. Um, uh, and our talk is specifically designed to help you guys be creative using tips, tools, and tricks to expand your uh, your personal experience that we call life. <laughs> it's, it's just a grab shoot. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. So uh, today, so I can see my notes, whoosh, magic glasses. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what we do here on Art Talk. Uh, my uh, company is Fireball Publishing, uh, technically Fireball Publishing Group. Why does it? I don't know. Fireball. Uh, Barry, thanks for watching, uh, joining us today on Art Talk. Uh, if you're an artist, great. If you're not an artist, well, I got news for you. You are an artist. Uh, we are all creation beings in that we uh, we create shit. We get shit done. Uh, you might create a, uh, a really great hamburger for dinner. You might create a, a business plan. You might, might create um, macrame if people still do that. Uh, you might create something for your business or create something for your wife. If you're smart, you'll create something for your wife. Just that's that's number one tip. Uh, hi, Angela. How are you? Uh, good morning. If you want to create something for your husband, you're a creative person. Uh, we are all creative people. Uh, that we're human beings and human beings uh, uh, get shit done and we create stuff. We create shit, you know, for some reason, whatever. Uh, so if you're into cooking, if you're into mountain climbing, if you're into um, uh, drinking beer, you know, whatever it is that you're into, uh, you, we we can create things and that's what we do. And that's what we focus here on our talk is how do we create things better? How do I create my hair to be better? I don't know. Uh, some things are lost causes. What are you going to do? But uh, welcome if this is your first time joining us on Art Talk. I am Fireball. That is my my first name. It's not a nickname. <sighs> Said it a million times. It's, it's it's my name and my that's what I got my and and that's that's how it goes. Uh, a couple of updates. A few updates. Wheels and Waves, which is my car show here in Malibu, my cars and coffee, uh, is restarting. Very excited about that. Uh, the only mandatory thing. Two things. Number one is you got to bring a car. If you don't have a car, then just come. And number two, um, uh, you, you don't have to wear a mask, but you can wear a mask, and it makes sense to wear a mask. But it's you know it's purely up to you. Uh, we're going to get into this uh, uh, the whole point of that, which is kind of uh, the subject: uh, do what's right for you and uh, without the fear of judgment. That's what we're getting into today for today's subject on Art Talk. But also, not only is Wills and Waves happening on July 19th, which is a Sunday, uh, the Murphy Auto Museum, our car museum up in Oxnard, is reopening August 1st. And Muscles and Mojo, the cars and coffee that happens there, is Sunday, August 2nd. So make a note, if you're in the Ventura County area, come to Muscles and Mojo on uh, August 2nd. If you're in the Malibu area and your phone doesn't fall over... You know, Ricky shows up and knocks my phone over. Thank you, Ricky. Just looking for someone to blame. It's my fault. Uh, so, uh, Muscles and Mojo. Yeah, join us for that. Uh, a couple of book updates. We have a brand new Mustang cover. 
Very excited about that. If you go to, to Amazon to buy the Mustang book, uh, it's going to show the old cover because it takes them a few days to pull their head out of their, you know, whatever it is, uh, to get the new cover up. But if you if you were to order the book today, you would get the new cover. It's really cool. And it's an off-road 66 Mustang driven by a abdominal snowman. Who <laughs> would have done that? Makes no sense whatsoever. That's that's what we do. Uh, Jacqueline, good morning. Uh, Ricky's in the house too. Very cool. Uh, we do have our Malibu Comery book, which is sponsored by Paul Grisante. We have 65 copies of these that were given out to the first 65 cars coming to Wheels and Waves on July 19th. That's going to be cool. Uh, we are currently working on the Tony Dow, official Tony Dow Comery book, and I have some privy... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm privy to getting some photos of Tony that are not anywhere else. Like the fact that Tony had a pet penguin. Check it out. Yep. Uh, when he was young, he had this this penguin as a pet. And he, uh, he lived on a, um, a sailboat. So a lot of that cool stuff is going into the coloring book. Uh, very excited about that. That's going to be available on Amazon uh, August 1st. Also, the same day the Murphy opens. How cool is that? No relation whatsoever. Doesn't make any sense. It just kind of happens. Uh, and then uh, we have a station wagon coloring book coming out September. And we're working on uh, ideas like the Bronco and Hawaii for the rest of the year. We're wrapping up the rest of the year. Uh, we're kicking some ass, you know. And that's what I'm trying to get uh, you guys to do by expressing your creativity, your creative flow. We do coloring books. You guys, you know, um, do the things that you do. And how can you do it with an attitude of gratitude? And that's what we're working on today. Uh, so uh, the new vlog, episode 990, is up. Please uh, check it out. It's all over the place right now. The uh, The beaches were closed for 4th of July. Didn't stop us. Yeah, just saying. I probably have to be careful about that because I don't want the cops calling me. Um, we, you know, we went on the beach and it's one of those things that you can go on the beach and then, and then the cops roll in and you think, well, they're either going to give us a ticket or they're going to tell us to leave. They were very cool. They just told us that we got to go and it opens up, uh, today. It's reopened today. Uh, Rick, what's up? And, uh, uh the beaches are open. So if you want to come to Malibu and go to the beach, boom, you can and have a good time. And then, uh, currently driving the 2020 Jeep Grand w Cherokee. I was going to say Wagoneer. Uh, Cherokee, driving that. So far, so good. Uh, we'll see some blog stuff on that. Uh, let's get into today's subject, shall we? Good morning, Mark Green from Gig Harbor, Washington, where summer has arrived, finally. Thank you. Uh, Saturday, it's supposed to be 90 here in Malibu. Crazy. <sighs> That's, you know, when I sleep in the living room. Because we don't have AC here in the house. That's just not something that... You don't normally need air conditioning when you live uh, by the water, uh, unless it's 90 degrees during the during the weekend. Duh. Then you wish you know you uh you had an ice a a a a bed full of ice cubes, which is what I'm going to do on on uh, Saturday. Anyway, uh, do what's right for you, uh, without the fear of judgment. Let's uh, let's discuss this, shall we? Because we live in a very judgmental society, mm. and as you can see. Based on our judgments, uh, the kind of uh, hoopla that's going on in the world right now, from the top down, uh, people are blaming other people for this and blaming other people for that. Uh, criticism is at an all-time high. Um, uh, it's a very destructive force. So, can we change the world? I don't know. Can we? Can we? I, I you know. I don't think that individually. Uh, many of us are destined necessarily to change the overall world, although we can change our world individually. Uh, Christoph Willems, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, Christoph, uh, you can change your, your world for the better very easily, uh, conceptually, very easily. Uh, it comes down to the, the difficulty is actually putting all of those techniques into, into play, actually doing the thing that you need to do in order to get the shit done. Boom, right there, okay? So, um, uh, in doing what's right for you, without fear of judgment, uh, a lot of times we um, we don't necessarily do what we want to do. We do what others think is appropriate because we we have fear of criticism. We don't want to be um, lambasted. Uh, official meat reference. I'm vegan, so I'm just going to throw that out there. Uh, because you know, you go outside, you walk around through your neighborhood, and someone gives you the the hairy eyeball. Hold on. I'm not sure what that looks like. Uh, the hairy eyeball for not wearing a mask. You know, there's no one around. There's no one around. 
Uh, you're inside your car driving around on the freeway. The closest person is like 300 feet from you and you should wear a mask. You know, and, and here's the thing. Uh, you, you, you have to do what you feel is right for you. Right, Ronnie? Good morning. Uh, uh, Ronnie, I think you're in Amsterdam. Are you the first out-of-towner joining us? I don't know. Where, where are you guys from? Post where you're from. Uh, where are you watching from today? So, you know, a society affects us and the way we do things. And uh, a, a lot of decisions that we make can be on the cusp of being poor decisions because we're worried. We're worried about what someone else might perceive us about. You know, um, they're not going to like my shirt color. They're not going to like the fact that I haven't uh, shaven. They're not going to like my, my hair or my glasses. You know, the, uh, pick, pick your poison. Uh, we we all, all worried from time to time what our parents might think, what our, our siblings might think, what the neighbor might think, what the cops might think, what the, um, the black, brown, green, purple, or white, or, or uh, plaid colored skin people might think. You know, whatever it is. Uh, I drive a, um, I don't drive this, but I happen to drive a, uh, um, a charger with a, uh, with a flag on top. Yeah. And uh, uh, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but the Volo Museum in Chicago, an amazing movie car museum, they have the, the car from Dukes of Hazard, and there's people that want them to get rid of that car, you know? Uh, so, uh, and there's a museum here in LA that has uh, hit one of Hitler's cars, right? So, you know, the thing about that is uh, I'm not going to make a judgment as to whether I think that they should or they shouldn't. That's up to them. That's not up to me. That's not up to me. Now, the thing about this is it's very easy to throw out criticisms, and it's even easier now because of Facebook and all this stuff, is that you can criticize someone with your with your posts on Facebook, and then you, you can close your computer or turn off your phone, and then you can just not worry about it. You can criticize, say whatever you want. And uh, uh, it makes it very easy for those that... Um, we have ants everywhere. The heat brings the ants out. There's probably a billion ants you can't see them, but they're hidden all over behind the get shit done. It's Anvil. <laughs> um, so if, the thing is, it's very easy to do that. So what, what I want to inspire you guys, hopefully, uh, is to uh, understand a, a process. And the process is very clearly, and we've said this a million times here on our talk, is that you get what you give. What you put out into the world comes back to you. It may not be direct. You may not see that if you criticize someone, and uh, two hours later, you get a flat tire that, that there's a connection. It doesn't make sense. Uh, if you criticize someone, you should be criticized. Well, it doesn't always necessarily work that way. Uh, it works on a spiritual level. And the spiritual level isn't necessarily about what you do. It's about the feeling behind. So if you criticize someone and you feel frustration, then you're going to attract more frustration. It doesn't mean you're going to attract criticism. It means you're going to attract frustration. You're going to attract the feeling. The feeling is, is the key, right? So it's important that we give good feelings in order to get things that make us feel good. Make sense? Make sense? This is very important for you guys to get because if you don't get this, you're going to continue to live your life like a game of craps at Las Vegas or any other place. You may want to go to uh, Marseille and gamble, right? But gambling with life is no fun. It's no fun when you can be the house. And you can be the house simply by making a conscious choice about what you want to think about according to how you want to feel, right? Remember, the rocket, the rocket, psh, the fuel is the feeling, psh, takes off, right? We talked about this. Okay, so how do we choose wisely? How do we choose wisely our uh, in order to secure a great outcome? Well, you can protest if you want, you know, if it makes you feel good. Uh, you can uh, uh, go about your business and do your own thing, you know. There's no judgment here. There's no, um, uh, you're wrong for doing this or you're right for doing that. Um, the, 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 the learning experience is yours personally to experience. And if you make a, a decision to do something and it feels good, congratulations. Way to go. If you, if you choose something and you end up feeling bad, oh well, bummer, but now you know that choosing that decision lands you in jail for stealing lifesavers or whatever it is. That's a Kathy reference. She went to, to jail twice. One time for stealing meat. 
of all things. That's why she's vegan. <laughs> she's not tempted to steal meat anymore. I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, I live with a jailbird. Yeah, that's just the way it works. Um, but we're trying to get, uh, let me you know, use this reference, the arc, the arc. Over here is we have the beginning of the arc, and then it arcs all the way over, and it lands right here, okay? The beginning of the arc is the situation that occurs, something that happens in your life that irritates you or that causes some kind of emotion, and it's a negative thing. And we want to condense this from the arc of the situation that occurs to your resolve, okay? And your resolve is feeling good about it, not feeling irritated, okay? Feeling good about it. And you have to make that arc. And now sometimes people spend a year on that arc before they can feel good about the fact that their husband left them. Or someone dies in their family and it takes a long time for that arc to where you have resolve and you say, it's okay, I'm, I'm okay now right? And then there's shorter arcs, like someone pisses you off because they, they cut you off on the street, and then they flipped you off, and then they told you off, and then they, they, uh, they went off on something. It's just I'm trying to think of a way to say off as many times as possible. And then, and then, you, and then you have resolve like, like uh, uh, it doesn't bother me anymore, okay? There's this arc that occurs, okay? It goes right over the head, right through the forehead, right through the wrinkles on the forehead, okay? Uh, Jay, you listening to me? Jay, uh, when, when, is it when? Thank you for joining us today on today's Art Talk. Thomas Rosenbaum, who else we got? Joey Alonzo, Stephen Joseph. Uh, very cool. Thanks for joining us on today's Art Talk. Uh, we do this on Mondays uh, here on Facebook Live, and it also is available on YouTube uh, later on. So the arc that happens is that, is that how do we take something that is seemingly bad, a bad situation, and how do we get ourselves to feel good about it? Some people say, oh, I'm not going to feel good about it. There's no way. There's no way to feel good about racism. Yeah. There's no way to feel good about people that don't support Black Lives Matter. There's no way to feel good about, uh, uh, you, know, you know, pick whatever it is that you that you are. Uh, okay, Jay, thank you for letting me know. Win. Awesome. Winner? <laughs> it's like, hi, I'm winner. That's cool. You know, I have a friend that's named Rich. And he grew up saying, hi, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. And as a result of that affirmation, he's a billionaire now and lives on uh, Martha's Vineyard. Huh. I should have named my kid Rich. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, segueing into things that don't make any sense whatsoever. Let's get back to the arc. So as the arc occurs, as something occurs for you guys today, this is what we're talking about. When I'm not talking about something you can apply tomorrow. I'm talking about tips, tools, and tricks that you can apply today here from Art Talk. And that is that if someone says something to you you don't like, or someone does something to you that you don't like, or you read something on Facebook that you don't like, or the president does something you don't like, or, or, or somebody out there just annoys the crap out of you, how do you get to feel good about it, right? So what's got to, what's got to occur? in order for you to do that? Well, the only thing that has to shift is your perspective, is the way in which you're looking at something. So when someone does something and it's annoying, what you don't realize is that you're, you're choosing, you're consciously or unconsciously choosing to be annoyed. You could choose to be elated. You could choose to feel uh, sexually attracted to them. You could, you could choose to be, um, uh, to not even see them like they disappear. Poof! Like nothing, right? Uh, the thing about this is that we choose poorly. We choose unconsciously. We choose to be irritated, and that's just the way it is, and we accept that, and that's our resolve. And then we feel bad, and then we end up attracting more badness, and then we wonder why our life is all screwed up, right? And we're not getting shit done, right? So I'm telling you, this is how you get shit done, is that you have to consciously consciously choose how you want to feel about something, okay? So to do what's right for you without fear of judgment is to choose what you feel is best for you. What you feel, that's the word right there. Feel is best for you regardless of what anyone else thinks, what your mom thinks, your dad thinks, your brother thinks, your sister thinks, your kids think, your neighbor thinks, you know, the political system thinks, the, you know, whatever it is, you can choose to look at this virus as an opportunity. You can choose to look at um, racism as an opportunity. 
And the opportunity, of course, obviously, is to promote the opposite. You know, nobody wants to hate people. You know, uh, and and those that hate, uh, hate is a product of fear. That's all it is. Is that if I accept you into my life, if if I'm if I'm purple and you're yellow, and and I accept you into my life, then does that mean I'm going to turn yellow? I don't want to turn yellow. I want to still. I want to be purple. I want to stay purple, right? Well, the truth is, you you don't you don't change color, right? You're always going to be who you are. But skin color doesn't have any meaning. Doesn't mean anything. I'm not I'm not racist. A, a, a drop of anything, right? But I am a little bit perturbed at the a holes of the world, right? And the a holes kind of get me some from time to time because I I grew up getting bullied and bullied in high school and a lot of that stuff. And many of you guys did too. You know, if you didn't look the part, if you weren't beautiful or gorgeous or stunning or or cool in some way, then you got criticized. And that's just the way it was. Oh, poor, you know, boo hoo. That's just the way it the way it works. Uh, but karmatically, that's what you were meant to get. And are you going to step up? And take that arc and get over here to where you can feel good and say, you know what, it doesn't matter what I look like because my life is cool. And my, I'm going to fill my life with coolness. This is what it means to be a custodian of cool here on, on Art Talk. It means that you're a custodian. It means that you are taking care of coolness. You cannot be a custodian of cool and criticize others. You cannot be a custodian of cool and judge others for doing things wrong. So... My thing is going off still. I haven't fixed it. Um, the thing about this is that to understand is that when you give coolness, you guarantee coolness to come back to you. That's just the way it works, right? That's the arc. Uh, you have to shift your perspective and see the eternal truth. And the eternal truth is that you get what you give, right? That's as simple as that. And that's how we deal with judgmental people is that instead of dealing with them, you shift your perspective and say, what can I do to make myself happy? about this. And many times, it's what Jesus said, turn the other cheek. Ignore what's going on over here, okay? You can't do anything about the fact that that uh, cops are shooting people in, uh, I don't know, pick a place, Chicago, right? You can't do anything about that unless you, you live in Chicago and your perspective is going to be different. But you can't do anything about terrorists in Afghanistan at the moment, right? Because you got to go to your job. Right, But you can choose to dwell on it and be afraid of it, and that's your arc. Or you can choose to let it go and make your life as spectacular as possible. And when you do do that, I said do-do. <laughs> uh, you, when you do that, then you inspire others. Be the change you want to see in the world. Very important uh, uh, way of looking at things, way to shift your your perspective, so that spirit is running you, that energy is running you from inside, and you're making a conscious choice every day to to be your best, to feel good. You want to feel good today, right? It's it's gloom and doom. It's the fog is out. So uh, I feel I feel bad. I feel bad. The fog is out. It's like you know what? Uh, fog is something that the earth produces. Shift your perspective. You know, it's something glorious, something beautiful to uphold, and it doesn't last forever. You know, so you get to experience it. And then when the sun comes out, oh, it feels really good. It feels doubly good. I don't even think the word doubly is a word, <laughs> but I'm going to use it. Uh, decide to be happy and choose what to think. Decide to be happy. Just decide to be happy. It's not difficult, but you have to make a conscious decision. Am I getting through to you? If I am, I hope this makes sense to you guys. I hope that you'll uh, you'll uh, consider sharing this. We want as many people as possible to come and, and, and get this perspective because the more people that give love and goodness out into the world, the less of the bullshit we have, right? So all you got to do is you got to condense that, that arc to where it's one. The moment somebody does something you don't like, you let it go and you move on with your life and you create coolness. That's where we want to be, people. That's where we want to be, regardless of the bad stuff that's going on. It doesn't mean that you, you can't, you know, it, life is going to throw you things. And it's going to throw you things so that you evolve, you grow, you move upward. It's an upward spiral, as Yogananda, Paramahansa Yogananda talked about this. Uh, life is an upward spiral, but it's subtle from step to step. You can't always see that that's the direction you're going, but you got to step up. you got to step up, and you got to look at the difficulty. You may be challenged with a physical difficulty or with a disease. You may be challenged with your money. You may be challenged with the, something bad that's currently in your life right now, um, 
how can you look at it so that you feel good today? And then when you feel good, you're going to attract goodness. Hello. There it is. There it is. That's the full circle. Okay? That's the Ark. Ark de Triomphe. Uh, the, the, the Ark of the Covenant. Another Ark reference. Nothing here, people, uh, but references. Uh, uh, don't push your agenda on others. Let people be. Let them do what they're going to do. They'll discover the truth on their own. If someone's an asshole to you, let them learn. Right? How many times, you know, you go on YouTube and you can watch karma videos, instant karma. It's in play. It's working. It's working. Someone does something to you. Don't try to get them back. Because all it does is it pulls you down to their level. You need to raise them up to your level. Let them go. Get busy. And when they see that they don't affect you, then they'll begin to question over time. It's their arc. They need to be on. It's not yours. Okay? Stop um, uh, making people wrong and get busy living. Okay? That's the message for today. This is Art Talk. I am Fireball. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, yeah, we do this every Monday morning, Pacific Standard Time, 8 a.m. from Malibu, California. It's the Blue Walls. That's how Malibu is, where we get shit done. And uh, if you get a chance today uh, and um, uh, to enjoy yourself, uh, make, uh, make a good quality decision. Try to make a good quality decision. And I appreciate if uh, you guys would share this, if it's something that's of value, uh, share it on Facebook or anywhere that you think that you know people might enjoy it, might get a, a lift of some sort. And then, of course, pick up a coloring book if you have. Uh, come to Wheels and Waves. You'll get one of these free Malibu coloring books while supplies last. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> we got 65 books. I can't give it to everybody. But 65 is pretty good. It's pretty good. There's another ant walking around. Be gone. At least they're not red ants. Check out today's vlog, Red Ants on the Vlog. All right, people, have a spectacular week. It's up to you. You can and you will have a spectacular week as long as you make good quality conscious choices. Do it.